Well, Elitsa, for the first time since the 2005-2006 season, the Fighting Illini men's basketball team is ranked in the top 10. Both the AP and the USA Today polls have the Illini right at number 10. The jump from the 13th to the top 10 comes as no surprise after Saturday night. The Illini battled back from 11 points down on the road to top Gonzaga 85-74. The Bulldogs were the number 10 team in the country at that point. While this team may be riding high though, there's still plenty left to accomplish. After all, last year's team started the season 12-0 and missed the tournament. So the seniors on this year's squad know how quickly things can turn around and are keeping their focus on the bigger goal. You know, we've been ranked before every year we've been here, you know, never been top 10. We've been, uh, I think the lowest bid was 12, but you know, it all matters at the end of the year. That's what uh, matters the most. You know, our rankings right now don't mean anything. Um, you know, we're trying to, um, you know, make the inside tournament. That's our goal. This, this coach staff has got us so is so grounded. You know, we can't look past us, and they're they're not and they're not look are getting to the hype of anything. You know, they're uh, they're keeping us grounded and uh, they're just taking it one game at a time. And the next game is tomorrow night at the Assembly Hall when the Illini play host to Norfolk State. Tip off is at seven. Going forward, all eyes will certainly be on Illinois senior guard Brandon Paul, dropping 35 points against Gonzaga Saturday night, earning him the Big Ten Player of the Week honors today. It's his second of his career, and the Bulldogs tried just about every combination of defense to try and slow Paul down, but he still managed to carry the scoring load, going 10 for 16 from the field and 6 of 9 from beyond, 5 of 9, sorry, from beyond the arc. Paul says a lot of what he was able to do Saturday night was made possible by his teammates. They put me in good, good positions to score the ball. Uh, I think, you know, screens by Sam, Mike Henry, Tyler, all of them, they do a good job getting me open to, and not only creating shots myself, but as well as my teammates. And, you know, without them, you know, I'm, I'm out there forcing shots and stuff. So I, I hats off to them and the coaching staff for calling the plays. In other news, the NHL lockout continues today. The league announcing all games through December 30th. Are canceled and in the NFL Chicago Bears quarterback Jay Cutler is nursing a sore neck after yesterday's loss to the Vikings. He says he should be ready to face the Packers this Sunday. And that's a look at sports. Elitza, back to you.